All right, boys, it's Friday. I got my Blue's Clues shirt on. That can only mean one thing. Winter's coming. Doesn't really mean anything, but winter's coming and the garage is gonna get cold. So we are gonna figure out how to make the garage warm today. And the way I'm planning on doing that is uh, running a duct from inside the house to the garage from the furnace. So I've been spending a lot of money over the last couple of years, like $100 a month or more, heating the garage with an electric heater. And that's kind of expensive. So I don't really want to do that. I don't want to use electric. Don't want to run a gas line for anything else. So I was thinking about it and I'm like, why not just run a duct from the furnace to the garage and then I could close it off, open it up whenever I need it, shut it off, it heats the house. Uh, open it up, heats the garage when I need it. Perfect, let's do it. So we got the hole cut, pop this thing out of here, see how deep that bad boy is. All right, now we can see right into the basement. This is the piece of ductwork I'm going to be using, and I'm going to stick it in from the opposite side. Uh, it should work pretty good. Uh, took the existing piping, I got a little T, this one goes up to the bathroom, and then I just extended this one straight out over there. Um, I did end up using one of the old Mendy tubes. Uh, smash this piece kind of into an oval to get through there. Bent that turret up there and then sunk that thing right through and that one comes out right into the garage. Up a little bit. I want to cut a three quarter inch piece and cut this whole thing out. Uh, but check this out. Temp is 66 degrees in the garage right now. Obviously this isn't garage temp, but I just want to show how good this thing is actually working. Uh. Alright, so the heater just shut off. Fan is still running. It was up to 127 and it ran at 127 for probably about 5 minutes. But it was slowly climbing, so that's pretty nice. And it'll continue to blow all that heat into the garage. But I think the really cool part about that is I also have air conditioning. So when it's warm in the summertime, I'll have heat and AC and not have to worry about anything. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. So it's actually the next day right now. And I've had the thermostat on the house set at 70 degrees. And it's 30 degrees outside right now. It's been about 30, 40 degrees uh, all day. It got to 30 degrees, around 30 degrees last night. It's 30 degrees outside right now. And the temperature in the center of the garage right now is 59 degrees. So that's 10, 11 degrees off from the temperature inside the house. And it's pretty consistent like that down to 30 degrees. So obviously when it gets colder outside, it'll probably be a little bit colder than that. Um, so I might have to run it a little bit more, um, but just how it's set up right now, it's pretty comfortable in here and it's not going to cost me very much to run it from the furnace. So just for reference, I change the temperature inside the house two degrees and it changes by two degrees out here. And when I made the same temperature change from uh, 70 to 72 when I was testing it, it only took uh, probably about seven minutes for the temperature to, to rise and actually shut the furnace off. So it's not like it's running excessively and it's going to cost me a whole bunch. Um, so yeah, just wanted to point that out and say thanks for watching. I got a bunch of parts coming for the turbo build. Um, still waiting on like some oil fittings and uh, intercooler piping fittings, stuff like that. Um, so some more videos about that should be coming in a couple days, but now I got a nice warm comfy garage to work in for the winter. So I can keep plugging away at this thing and not be cold. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Have a good night.